Today we're going to test out three pre-made eggnogs to save you some time and trouble and see which one reigns supreme in the taste test today. Hey everybody, welcome back to The Ventures Bartender. This is Troy. Today we have a special holiday episode. Happy holidays to all. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Merry Festivus. Happy Kwanzaa and every other celebration. Happy holidays to all. Uh, today we have a very festive drink in front of me. I have eggnog. Um, so we have three different eggnogs here from three different stores. We have a Christian Brothers a holiday eggnog made with brandy. We have a Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog made with brandy, dairy cream, and blended whiskey. And in the center here, we have uh, an eggnog that I got from my local Costco. Um, this one actually has quite a bit in it. It has dairy cream, whiskey, spice rum, brandy, and French vanilla. So these are all actually similar price points. As you can see, Costco gives you a little more volume, more bang for your buck. But I think it was uh, $9.99, $10.99, and $10.99. So we can factor that into the equation as we get to tasting. So uh, without further ado, Let's taste some eggnog. All right, I'm gonna start over here with the Pennsylvania Dutch. Go east coast to west coast. So I'm gonna try a little, uh, these are already pre-chilled, so I'm just gonna pop them into the glass and do a little taste test and, and see how things go. So, mm, it's got a nice nose. You can smell the creamy, ooh, ooh. If you can't tell, that is some creamy goodness pouring into that glass. It was not a thin eggnog, so I'm expecting some good creamy goodness out of this bad boy. Eggnog number one, first sip. Mm. I can smell the sweetness of the cream, the hint of, hint of the brandy. We'll see how it tastes. Whoa. So first off, super creamy, thick, kind of like drinking a melted milkshake, but then immediately, bam, you get hit with that warm holiday brandy sweetness and warmth um, as you take a sip. That is really good. It's spicy, it's got a little sp more spice to it than I expected from, from the eggnog, but that is a really good, f good first sip there. Um, it has rum in it. I think that's what the, some of the rum that I'm getting, um, brandy and blended whiskey. So it's got the trifecta of alcohol. It's hard, it's hard to, to knock a trifecta of booze in a cocktail with creaminess in there. So let's go with the, the smaller version. So now we're going to try some holiday eggnog from Christian Brothers, made with brandy. So let's see how this one tastes. I'm gonna do a similar, similar glass here, do a little side-by-side -side action. All right, eggnog number two. I guess I can pour it in here and smell it. Okay, so immediately pours out a little more liquid, not as thick as, as the previous one. So I'll put these behind here so we can kind of keep track of what's what so I don't forget, because Lord knows I will. All right, so this one, like I said, not as viscous, little, little, uh, little runny compared to the other one. Similar nose, not as pungent as the last one. It's definitely milder on on the smells on the on the nose. You don't get as much of that spice as you do the other one. So let's give it a taste. Okay, so you get a lot of cream and very, very little warmth from the alcohol. It's like, if, if I drank this, I wouldn't even be sure if there was any in there. It's just got a hint at the very, very end of like something else, and it must be the, the brandy that it's in there, but it's super, super mild. And, and now I can see why. This is only 10% alcohol by volume or, or 20 proof. This one we have 
14.75, so about 15%. So that 5% from the 10 to 15 makes a huge difference. Like you, you know you're drinking booze in this one. You're like, yeah, we're drinking eggnog, holiday, around the Christmas tree, around the fireplace, you know, getting a little Christmas crunk, if you will. This one, kind of just drinking some nice creamy goodness um, with no real kick. It's like you're having a uh, Coors Light of eggnog, to be honest. So um, if I had to compare from best to worst, I mean, I'm definitely sticking with this one. The creaminess beyond compare. This one, nice, not bad, but you know, definitely, definitely behind the other one. So with that, we come to Value Town with Costco's eggnog. So I'm excited to try this one in comparison. It's been a couple years since I've drinking this eggnog. Drinking, drinking, drunk, whatever, you, whatever your um, favorite is. Interesting enough, there is a plastic fade stopper, as I like to call them, on the top of this one, so you don't drink too much too quickly. But you gotta, you know, you gotta be safe out there. Use your good judgment. Drink responsibly. Um, so this one, traditional holiday eggnog made with real dairy, cream, whiskey, spiced rum, brandy, and French vanilla. So like I said, this one I think it was $10.99 at my local Costco. This one was $10.99 as well. This one I think was a dollar less at $9.99. So pretty even, uh, even from a price point perspective. Okay, so this one seems to be kind of in the middle when I pour it in viscosity between the two. It's definitely not as thick as this one in the creaminess category, but and it's got a, a brighter color to it. It's whiter than these other two. These two are more what I expect an eggnog to be with that kind of rich, creamy, off-white. Um, but this one's um, almost like a milk, but like a you know thick, thick, creamy milk. So let's see what we got here. Okay, this one, the nose, you can almost smell the alcohol more. You get the alcohol, like the brandy, and that creaminess. So I'm expecting, expecting good things. Ooh, interesting. Well, I, I, I gotta taste it again before I say anything. So this one, it's like you're drinking like a blended, not blended, but like a, a milk cocktail almost. I don't get the creaminess of like the eggnogginess, the eggy, like warm, like richness to it. I get the I get some cream, obviously, but you immediately follow it up with like a blend of alcohol that you, it's hard to describe. Mm. As creamy as it is and as thick as it was pouring in it, I don't get a ton of richness from it. You just get like the creaminess and the alcohol, um, but not a lot of spice, not a lot of other things that you would think of when you think of eggnog. Mm. Mm, that's tough. So, preliminary winners. Definitely the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog is by far kind of above the competition. Creaminess, goodness. But I think I gotta do a little back and forth between these two and see which one, which one reigns supreme. I mean, it's hard when you get this much value. You get like more than double, you know, bang for your buck. Um, but, you know, qu quality seems to be lacking a bit. So creamy, good. Ooh, that's tough. Mm, creamy, good booze. Let's see what, what percentage we got on this one. 14.75. So this one and this one are equal. So I can see where the, the alcohol comes forward a bit. Whereas this one, It's like it's more balanced because of the thickness of the cream. Ooh, that's tough. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to we're gonna have to move this one up. Just because even though I'm a fan of the alcohol percent, this one is just feels diluted. It feels like it's been diluted, been watered down a bit, and so in comparison to this one, this one still has some cream and it's got that alcohol backbone. 
to kind of give it some some interestingness interestingness mm. okay well this is interesting so i had bought this one before so i expected to like it because i drank the whole thing when i bought it but apparently i was eggnog iterate literate it illiterate eggnog illiterate um and there are better eggnogs out there um so i'm gonna have to go with with the pennsylvania dutch eggnog made with real dairy cream rum brandy and blended whiskey the old philadelphia comes through but this is you know pre-made eggnogs which ones which ones are best you know that was the whole point of this to, to give you a taste test so you can go out there and buy the right one the first time and not have to go through a bottle to find a good eggnog um so pre-bottle pre-made eggnog go yourself with some pennsylvania dutch you know you won't be steered wrong 14.75 percent alcohol super creamy and good uh definitely way to go there that said there's always another option in eggnog and that's to make your own and this wouldn't be a, a good channel if we didn't make our own eggnog and see how it compared to these so with that i'm going to move these off to the side here we have our one two three punch here and we're going to try our hand at our own eggnog with real ingredients in real time and see how it turns out see how it stacks up to the competition here all right so what we're going to do we're going to start with a shaker throw some ice in there and get to our ingredients. So what we have today, we have our, our milk or our cream. So this one, whole milk in, in this case, which this recipe calls for. We have some sugar. We have jigger, egg to make real eggnog out of real eggs. And then we also have somewhere, some brandy. Where the hell did my brandy go? Brandy, you're a fine girl. Oh, there you are. There we go. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Some brandy. Trust me, I've only been doing this once. I'm not, not holiday crunkmas yet. Um, all right, so we have ice in the shaker. Our basic eggnog has two jiggers of rum and or brandy. Today we're gonna go with brandy because that's uh, my fave, at least for eggnog in consideration. So we have one jigger there, which is one and a half ounces. Uh, two jiggers there, another one and a half ounces, so three ounces total of brandy into our basic eggnog. To that, we're going to add a tablespoon of sugar. Sweeten her up a bit. To that, we add our two-thirds cup of milk. Um, so I'm just going to pour that in there. So it gives us our milky, creamy goodness. And then the part that I always get a little scared about because they always tell you don't eat raw eggs and here I am cracking an egg into a cocktail uh, but one egg so put that in there throw that down there clean the hands off don't need germs and then we cover and shake you're gonna want to shake this well because it's got two things in here that need to be blended it's got the sugar so you need to shake that extra well and then it's got the egg so in spirit of the holidays, we'll have some holiday shake time music. Ready to go? Here we go. We've got a very firmly shaken eggnog in there for that. So here's our glass for our eggnog. Open this up, look down in there. There's a lot of, a lot of creaminess and foaminess in our, in our shaker there. Not that I necessarily need a strain, I'm gonna strain it into the glass. Ooh. So ours, I think similar Definitely not as thick as this one, for sure. Probably similar to this one in nature, a thickness, viscosity. Looks creamy, poured creamy. Let's see if it tastes creamy. 
and I forgot the nutmeg or else I do a little j -j on the top of the nutmeg, but we haven't done it. So I got to keep it, keep it in the same, same realm here. So we have our worst to best here. Let's see where our basic eggnog stacks up to the competition. Mm. So definitely, obviously because of the shaking, it's frothy. It's creamy. It, it's, it's tasty. It ha the brandy is super smooth. And so it definitely blends into the background. Um, so you're not getting a huge like alcohol punch to the face. Um, like you kind of are a little more in some of the other ones. So this is definitely in the milder category. So if I had to, to guess, it'd be more in probably the alcohol percentage of this one. But, you know, we did put two jiggers in there. I, obviously, there's a, there's a bunch left in there. So if we drink all this, we'd drink, you know, three ounces of brandy in total. But let me try it again. So it's good. It's creamy. It's smooth. You get that finish of the brandy and, and the warmth of it. But... It's lacking like the spiciness and the like complexity of, of these two. And I think, you know, these are the ones that have, you know, the triad of, you know, rum, whiskey, and, um, and brandy. And so I think that adding those three where we just added the one is, is where we're missing. We're lacking a little bit. But because of the creaminess and the goodness, if this is our third bottle here, I would go there, there, and unfortunately, I'd, I'd put ours ours down here. So we got some tweaking, tweaking to do to our recipe to get us above these bad boys. All right. So after trying all four of our eggnogs, including uh, one of our own making, here's where the uh, lineup ended up. The winner of the pre-made eggnog taste test is. Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog. Uh, we know what they're doing. Creamy goodness. Still keeps that alcohol up at 14.75%. Um, great holiday drink. You drink this, you're transported to the holidays. I think it might even be snowing in the background because I just had a sip of it. I don't know. But if you're going to go to the store and buy some eggnog pre-mixed, buy, buy one of these. Now, if you're in Costco and you're like, I want twice as much for the same price and still pretty damn good. Get your Costco eggnog. It's not going to treat you wrong. This is Troy from the Vintage Bartender signing off. Until next time, happy holidays. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Vintage Bartender. This is Troy. Today, oh, I forgot my Santa hat. And we're back. Oh yeah. Killer. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, next time, you know, we'll have... Uh, I don't know. Hmm, this one's good. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. Woo! That's good too. This one punches you in the face a little more. With like the the boozy. Boozy. Boozy hotness. Woo! Mm. Getting down to the bottom of the glass it gives you that little like zhuzh, zhuzh, like you're drinking some some whiskey.